of it's on my computer and I use a messaging app, let's say, and on my desktop and my daughter comes by and she's looking and I have my eldest daughter pinned with a bunch of other people at the top of the messaging app. Cause you can pin a couple of people you want their notifications first. And my youngest daughter, who I don't really do a lot of texting with was like, Hey, how come I'm not pinned up there? Right. And instead of saying, you know, oh yeah, you're not pinned there. What does that yeah. mean to you? Are you sad about that? Does it upset you? Does it make you feel not important? How do you feel about that? Tell me more. I was like, well, you never text me. <laughs> That's what I said instead. That was because I felt her upset. I didn't want to hold my upset about her upset in my body. Mm. And so instead I was defensive, needing yes. to be right about why I was doing what I was doing. So these subtle ways of being defensive about our own reality instead of visiting with a child. Okay. First, let's go back to what you said first. I love that example where you said, calm down and then we'll talk about it. What happens there is that it's so easy for us as parents to shut our child down instead of expanding. You stop feeling this way so that I don't have to sit in this discomfort versus expanding my own body and working on my own self and not shutting down my child. I feel like sometimes this is what's happening between us and our child, or we're going to shut them down so that we can avoid expanding, or we're going to work on expanding and not shut them down. What you're describing, even with the texting is you're taking it personally. And that's what we've been doing it as children, right? As children, we take our environment personally. And then, like I said before, when our parent tells us, and shows us that we're responsible for how they're feeling, that just gets accentuated. Like, oh yeah, I am responsible for how others feel. So if my child is going to come to me and they're not calm and they're not happy and they're crying, I'm taking that personally. If my child's coming and saying, I'm not pinned, how come? Hey, wait, we don't text it. Like I'm taking it personally. Their emotions are my responsibility. And that's what I'm showing my child. Like, why are you feeling this way? Look what I did. You can't feel this way. Look at my actions. I'm responsible for how you're feeling versus understanding that we each have our own experience. Yeah. And I think one of the most important parts about parenting is understanding that we have our experience and our kids have their own experience. And an example that I like to give is, for example, me and you, Kelly, we were watching a movie and we're watching this movie and I'm laughing the entire movie. I find it hilarious. And you're like next to me and you're crying. And I'm like, hell, you're crying. This is hilarious, this movie. And we're watching the same exact story. However, you have your own experiences that make you see through these lenses of yours that for you, you're feeling pain. And for me, I'm feeling like laughing. It's fun. I love this movie. And it's the same story. And so sometimes there's no right or wrong. Who's right or wrong for laughing or crying? There is no right or wrong. It's each of us with our own experiences. And that's how it is with our children. So sometimes we can have an experience and we experience it one way. Our child experiences another way. And just understanding that the experiences they're having is reflecting their own inner world. So if our child is feeling hurt or sad or angry about something, then that means within them, there is something that hurts them. And it doesn't have to necessarily be about us. Dr. Shefali has this quote. Basically, she says, it's really painful for us as parents to see our children in pain. And what's even more painful for a child is to see that their parents can't see them experiencing pain. That's even more painful than the actual pain they're experiencing. So I think it's so important to feel like we're not one with our child. And when our child comes with pain, it's not a reflection of our parenting. It's not a reflection of who we are. Beliefs that we might have held on to as children growing into adults now, we might have these beliefs because our parents made us feel that way. But we can move through that and we can be reminding ourselves. There's also this famous mantra. It's basically my child is having a hard time. They're not giving me a hard time. You know, that division between this is their experience. It has nothing to do with me. And when we show up in that way, we can actually help our children and our children can feel safer coming to us because they know that we're not going to get enmeshed in their emotions. We're not going to feel like how they're feeling and now they lost their support because that's what's essentially happening, right? When your child comes and telling you, hey, I'm not pinned. And then you're like, wait, hold on. What do you mean? Like you never, 
now it's like, okay, you feel like how I'm feeling now. I kind of lost that supportive parent that I thought can work through this with me and can get curious with me and can say, well, how would you feel if you were pinned? And do you feel I love you less because you're not pinned, you know, and getting curious in that way. So what happens is when we feel all those emotions coming in, we lose the access to our logical part of our brain. So sometimes pausing on these moments, I know it's really hard <laughs> to pause during these moments. So something I like to tell parents, and I'll just give like a tip here, which has really been transformative in my life and for many other parents is setting an alarm on your cell phone, whether it's one alarm, two alarms, three alarms, whenever that rings, you're just going to check in with yourself and take a deep breath and pause. Just notice how you're feeling so that you're gaining more awareness so that when you're on these moments and our child comes to us and tells us, Hey, you didn't do this. We're learning to gain more awareness. We're learning that, okay, our breath is right there. We can take a deep breath. We can pause. We don't have to answer our child right away if we feel like now is not the best time. You know, let's talk about this soon. And then you can process what's happening. Take your time. Oftentimes we feel like things are an emergency. Like we have to answer right away. We have to do this right away. And that, again, comes from our childhood, right? Because if we didn't clean right away, then our parent would be super upset with us and we would lose out on going out for ice cream or whatever that case was. So we feel the sense of urgency when really now we can let go of that. It's okay. It's not an emergency. We can just sit there with their discomfort. If we don't know what to say, we can say, let's think this over together. There's no urgency to these moments. 